I'm filming this in my car because I'm so frustrated right now. I just got done listening to a video with uh, Heather Fine Finich, I think is her last name. She's really smart. She she knows college football really well. And uh, SEC uh, reporter, me he covers the SEC for for ESPN, and that's Paul Feinbaum. And they're commenting on Mike Gundy's comments about Bedlam ending. And he says, well, Gundy hasn't said anything of significance since he said he was a man 10 years ago. And uh, it only matters in that little town of Stillwater. Before you speak, Mr. Feinbaum... You need to recognize something. First of all, college towns are by far, across the board, smaller than average towns in America or big cities. Uh, the exception would be Columbus, Ohio, which has 889,000 plus, and Cincinnati only has 302,000. Okay. Tuscaloosa has 100,000 people, but Birmingham has almost 200,000 people. And yeah, Stillwater has 50,000 people. 50,183, according to the last census. And Tulsa has 402,000. But that's not the point. You're, you're missing the point, Paul. Last year, Bedlam drew 6.5 million viewers six and a half million people took the time to watch Oklahoma State versus OU. You know why? Because they're both really good football teams. Yes, I'm an o Oklahoma State supporter, alumni. But I am a little bit older and a little bit wiser than I was when I was a student. And I recognize the fact that OU football is one of the best football brands in all of college football. They've had a lot of success going all the way back, uh, even before Switzer. Uh, Bud Wilkinson had the 49 win uh, winning streak. He had they won 49 games in a row, and Notre Dame is the one that that ultimately uh, beat them. But between Wilkinson and Barry Switzer and Bob Stoops, they have a history of good football. I get that. Oklahoma State's only been good in the last 20, 30 years. But that doesn't diminish the fact that Bedlam last fall drew 6.5 million viewers. So you can make fun of how small Stillwater is all you want, Paul Feinbaum. The fact is, Bedlam drew 6.5 million viewers. And guess what? Come November, in Norman... That's going to be a difficult game for Oklahoma State, and it's going to draw a lot of viewers because most likely both of the both teams will be top 10 or at least top 15. Uh, Oklahoma State still has to get by Baylor on October 1st. So for you to say things like that, Paul, you, you're not looking at the big picture. And believe me, the SEC, the Big Ten, the ACC, the Big 12, the the Pac-12, all the conferences, they care about how many viewers are we getting in front of televisions watching our games so we can go to the networks and say, hey, look, we can bring this amount of people to watch our football games. We want this amount of money. That's what it boils down to, Paul. You can, you can diminish Oklahoma State and you can diminish the Big 12 all you want, but the fact of the matter is, Oklahoma State beat Notre Dame in the Fiesta Bowl. The fact is, Baylor beat Ole Miss in the Sugar Bowl. There were two teams that made Big Six Bowls last year from the Big 12, and both of them won. That's the bottom line, Paul. The Big 12 has good football, and you're going to see that play out later this year. So... 
I'm trying my absolute best to not explode because you know here are some some guy who, at ESPN who wants to treat the Big 12 like it's flyover country, disrespect the conference, disrespect Oklahoma State, disrespects Mike Gundy, and doesn't look at the big picture and doesn't really understand how things work. Mike Gundy has gone to 16 bowls in a row. He is the winningest coach in all of Oklahoma State history. Right now, there are only three coaches who have been at their schools longer than Mike Gundy and have a better winning percentage than him. And that's Kirk Ferentz at Iowa, Dabo Sweeney at Clemson, and Nick Saban at Alabama. That's it. Kirby Smart's doing really well at, at Georgia, but he just got hired two years ago. Mike Gundy has been there for 17 years. And for 16 years in a row, he has had a winning percentage. They have had they were had winning seasons and have gone to bowl games. What other program can say that, Paul? I'm waiting. Michigan, maybe. I'd have to look at the numbers. Ohio State. I know Vatek has fallen off, fallen down. They're not as good as they used to be. What about Florida State? They're not as good as they used to be. I know they've had a they had a couple seasons here recently where they didn't go to a bowl game. What about Miami? Same thing. LSU? Are they as good as Oklahoma State? No. Oregon, maybe? There's a handful of teams that you can put in the same category as Oklahoma State. You know that. I know that. Heather knows that. Maybe you should listen to your colleague, Heather Dinich. Because she seems to know a whole lot more about football than you do. Anyway, sorry about the rant, guys. Um, later on t tonight into, into the morning, I will post the video with my week four picks. But I just had to respond to that utter nonsense by Paul Feinbaum. And I, I do. If you're new, please hit like and subscribe to the, to my subscribers. I just want to say thank you. If you wear orange and black, you're part of you're part of cowboy country. And from the bottom of my heart, I love you guys. So I will see you later.